rest of this video will cover how to check for fake SD cards because today um, I've been having some problems with three new SD cards that all come from the same supplier all supposed to be 32 gig and basically somebody mentioned relate to SD cards after one of them went corrupt um, about doing a fake test is something I'm tried um, basically because this, uh, I took the, the supplier um, at his word of being a good UK supplier um, but obviously that's based on the assumption that he may or may not know that the cards are of good quality because um, obviously a lot of fake stuff does end up in a wholesale market etc so he may not even be aware of it himself so what I did I ran some tests on the 32 gig cards and they failed but what's interesting is not that they failed but they failed about the same file sizes on all of them um, because they're fake cards they basically got 7.5 gig of usable memory and the rest is sort of corrupt or should we say doesn't actually exist because um, what they do is they actually alter the, the software within the SD card to make it look like it's bigger than it is. There's two methods that this actually works, or doesn't work, so I say. The first one being that it will write up to what the maximum is. In this case, it's 7.5 gig. Then the rest of the memory after that, it just doesn't write it. It just doesn't push the data into it. So as such, it, it doesn't save anything. The other method is it overwrites the usable memory with stuff once you've reached the cap. So once you've hit 7.5, it'll then go, okay, we're now at 8, 8 gig, um, right over something that was on the 7.5, which would explain why the data ends up corrupt. It's because it's actually trying to fix like well, say, well it's a 32 gig card, trying to fit 32 gigs worth of software into 7.5 by constantly overwriting the bits of data and it's pretty obvious it doesn't work, does it? It just won't not fit. And it's that method I assume has worked on these cards uh, because you end up with bits of pictures, bits of this, bits of that, so I assume it's losing some data but not all of it. Um, so in this video you better see how to check your cards and I will say it's not destructive and you may have to do a format after you've done it but at the same time get your new card run it through it and at least you know you've got what you paid for um, today I've just had to send a photo of the cards you know my output from the cards to the guy that sold them to me and that's for an eBay, eBay refund uh, one of the good things about it is I did pay through PayPal, so I assume I'm either going to get my money back or a new set of cards, one way or the other. I'm, I'm not losing out on this, but it's really annoying because I've lost a lot of photos and videos because of it. Anyway, watch the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. First memory card from the supplier. As you can see, it's not doing too well. Um, it's actually already said it's lost 9.7 gigs of data. So it's got about seven correct. Likely to be defective. We're going to do this card and then I'm going to run the other two. This has already been running for an hour. Um, as you can see, it's still got 17 minutes to go. But I just want to go through these cards one after the other because if they're all coming up with the same issues, then it's very likely these cards are fake because um, it's unlikely you get three cards from the same supplier with the same faults unless there was something very dubious with them. So the first card is now complete and 7.4 gig is okay, 23.5 is duff. Um, so what I'm going to do now is run another test on another memory card 
and see if these figures look the same because like I said if there's a pattern there these are um, fake cards okay this is the second card as you can see same problem same size 23 and a half gig of corrupted data 7.5 okay what I'm seeing is basically this is a 7.5 8 gig um, SD card that is pretending to be 32 gig yeah.